Patrick, tonight we're seeing how deep this loss is hitting uh, the community in Barron County. Two officers from small departments within, with an enormous impact on their colleagues and community. In the village of Cameron Monday, a uniform salute honoring two fallen friends. Officers Emily Breidenbach and Officer Hunter Scheel killed Saturday in an exchange of gunfire with a man during a traffic stop. They were checking the welfare of Glenn Perry after a report of, quote, concerning behavior. He died at a hospital. The two officers died at the scene. It's tragic. It's terrible. We shouldn't have to be here and talk about this but we have to time and time again across this country. The weight of the loss even more heavy as both officers were from small departments in Barron County. Shiel on the job just one year in the village of Cameron and in four years with Shatek police, Breidenbach was known for moments like this, dancing with kids in the community. This is why we do what we do here in Barron County. There is bad in the world. There's too much bad in the world, and I'm thankful for officers like Hunter and like Emily. In addition to changing the lives of their families and friends forever, this event has touched me, my department, local law enforcement, and law enforcement around the world. And as they grieve, the work of police does not stop. State investigators poring over details of this case. Body-worn cameras could be critical in providing a picture of how this tragedy unfolded. We know both of those departments do utilize body-worn cameras. The Barron County District Attorney today said he will make the results of the investigation public once the Wisconsin Department of Inv uh, Justice completes its investigation and turns the documents over to the DA in about 30 to 45 days. And the community grieving tonight, Derek, thank you.